Hello, Driving Intelligence Community. In this part of my Civic series, I talked to the owner about doing something with these headlights. I was going to recommend polishing them, but the cost of polishing and the fact that you have to continually do this compared to the cost of getting some brand new aftermarket versions, it's just cost prohibitive to try to repair these. I talked her into uh, to getting some new ones. I ordered them on Amazon. I'll put the link below. And in this video, I'm gonna replace those headlights. As you can see with my dirty F-150 lenses, adding new lenses can really bring the life back into your car or truck. It gets rid of that, uh, that hazy oxidation that can cause a difficulty seeing at night with your headlights. Here you can see the obvious difference. Crystal clear even with this plastic protection on and you can see the yellow oxidized lens. Now the big problem with this is that you have to remove this top valence. You have to remove the bumper cover, which means you got to get underneath the vehicle to get to these headlights that I think have about uh, four retaining screws. You can see two of them here. Now to take off the front bumper cover and that top valence. And what makes this job easier is getting one of these trim tools that lets you get underneath there and pop these trim tabs out without causing any damage. Four tabs removed, two three, four, and then this should pop right up. And that exposes the rest of the bolts that need to be taken out to get to that uh, bumper cover. There's an Allen head right there, and an Allen head right there. The bumper cover from beneath and the sides is held in by screws here and uh, more of those push pins on the bottom. So we're gonna take off this Phillips head screw here on each side and then get to the push pins. Now you can see a series of push pins that need to be taken out with this trim tool as I've shown earlier. Once all the push pins are removed, I started by pulling on the end behind the headlight near the fender or at the fender well, and then it just pulls easily out. You can see all the filth here, which makes it difficult to get some of these out. And in fact, some of them are gonna break. So you're gonna need some new push pins when you do this project. The front of the vehicle is completely exposed now, which means we can get to these headlights and start pulling them out. At this point, before you get too far, check all your bulbs, make sure they're all uh, operating properly because this is the easiest time to replace these bulbs. In fact, you may want to go ahead and replace the bulbs if you have a lot of age on the vehicle and they haven't ever been changed before because it's much more difficult to replace these bulbs while the headlight assemblies are still in place. Each headlight is held in with 10 millimeter bolts, one, two, one underneath, another one on the side here. The front headlight is removed. Now there's a piece to this, this bracket here, which is where you, uh, you snap on your front fascia. That actually comes out as an assembly, so you have to unbolt that as well. So it turns out there's five bolts that need to be removed in order to get this and the headlight out. Right side is on, but not completely bolted in yet because the headlight bulb is burnt out and this is the right time to replace it. Passenger side headlight assembly is installed, and now I can finish the driver's side that I, now that I've picked up a bulb for this, the, uh, the original bulb burn out. Uh, just a few tips on this. So I, was, I put this lens system in and bolted it on the top here with two bolts before I bolted it anywhere else, and then I slid in this, this clip bracket. I had to slide it in underneath, and then there's a couple more bolts, as you know, that need to be, uh, that hold this in. There's one on the end of this, all the way straight in, one underneath the light, into the light assembly, and then the other one right here on the side. And that holds that firmly. So this side is done. Headlight assemblies are in, bulbs tested, everything's working, looks fantastic already. I cleaned up that front uh, bumper cover a little bit, and now I'm going to install it. So when installing this, you wanna make sure that these tabs on the top of this major bracket that was bolted underneath the headlight assembly. And there's some indentions in there. You can see one right there. You're just gonna push it in to those slots. Now that the bumper cover has been placed on the front and it's lined up properly, two Allen heads that need to be installed, push pins along the bottom, one Phillips screw on each side of the fender within the fender well, and then we need to put that top valence on there. And here we are with the finished product. All the lights are working. They are much brighter and much more aesthetically pleasing. And now we can drive at night with confidence. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe.
I need much more subscribers. Only 15% of you are subscribers. And see you next time on Driving Intelligence.